So here comes Henrik Ruiz Cordova. Making his way to the red corner. Big cheer though for Slobodan Jovanovic. Born and raised in Kragujevac. And as I said, has picked up a national title, Serbian national champion 2019, 2020, and 2021. And it's a big step up to elite senior level, an international level for him. And generally speaking, in these competitions, what you don't want is to draw a Cuban in the opening stages. Ruiz is not a fighter I've seen before. We are seeing some new faces in that Cuban team in these championships, as we are in pretty much every team. It's been a very settled team there for the last five or six years, really. Touch of gloves between the two. Physical difference between them. The height and reaches with Ruiz. And we've got two southpaws here. Ivanovic with the support of the crowd behind him. You can hear that in the background. Looking for the jab there, Ruiz, and the one-two. Coming back with the left hand there, Jovanovic. A little bit wild with the backhand that time, the Serbian. Just sparring with the jabs here. Both boxes in the opening stages, 30 seconds in. Left hand there from Ruiz. Looked like it might have landed with the inside of the glove right towards the end of its journey as he threw it. Climbs into a big left hand there, Jovanovic, but it was blocked. Right hand from Jovanovic did get through there. Ruiz was throwing the right of his own, and the left on the inside got through there from Jovanovic as well. He's on the front foot here, the Cuban, in red. But a couple of punches on the retreat there from Jovanovic found the target. And now you see Ruiz inching forward with that front foot, then just gets slightly too close. He was looking to try and throw the left hand, but Jovanovic came forward and it wasn't really on. So just past the midway point of round one. Short with the jab there, Ruiz. Countering with the combination there, Jovanovic. And then again with the right hand as he was pushed back into the corner, just took a step back through that right hand. I think all three of those were blocked, but... He's having some reasonable success with Ruiz coming on to him, Jovanovic. Ruiz has been the one on the front foot, as I've been saying. He's the one making the fight. He's the one looking to make some inroads here. But he hasn't really landed much. Left hand there lands on the shoulder of Jovanovic. Timeout called by the referee. A gum shield has come out, I think. It has indeed, and it belongs to Jovanovic. Looking for the one two there, Ruiz. Good upper body movement. Got the left hand over the top. That did get through. Left hand downstairs into the body. Looking for a, a strong finish to the round here. Left from Jovanovic. Caught on the shoulder by Ruiz. He's injected some real urgency, the Cuban, into this, the final few seconds. 
Looks for the big bombing left there, Jovanovic as well, but that was blocked, right hand on the inside. Good finish to the round, really good finish to the round for both of them. Just caught fire a bit there towards the end. It's a Ruiz round, I would say. Not that much clean got through. He was the one trying to make things happen. Jovanovic was, was throwing off the back foot and he, he did have some joy doing that. A lot of what they threw, the pair of them, landed on gloves, landed on shoulders, around the side of the head. There wasn't all that much clean. There's a right hand there from Jovanovic, which got through and a left there, kind of. But towards the end of the round there, he just opted it a bit, Ruiz. I think maybe he, he knew that that it was, it definitely wasn't clear that it was fairly in the balance, really. It just looks to have a little bit more of a trade up. So into the second, Ruiz of Cuba in red. He would have been the favourite going into this, Cuban fighters always are. Ivanovic of Serbia with the backing of the home crowd here in the blue. He looks to be a small cruiserweight, Jovanovic. Ruiz, full at the weight, in pretty spectacular condition. Looks for that left hand, he, he slaps with that left hand a bit, Ruiz. Doesn't really shoot it through straight. Pecking with the jab there, Ruiz, looking for that left out of distance and again same story with the jab there just shuffling in with that front foot Jovanovic is happy to see him just come to him because he knows that that's what he really needs to be able to land those effective counters Jovanovic not quite swinging himself off his feet there but almost turning through 180 degrees as he let go with lefts and rights Jovanovic has got to do more here he has got to do more. It's not that he didn't have some success in that first round because at times he did. But the dynamic of this fight is you've got one fighter, the fighter in red, who is on the front foot all of the time. He is the one trying to make things happen. He is the one throwing punches. Not that many of them are landing that clean, but the look of this is that he is going forward and Jovanovic is constantly in reverse he's got to go for it a bit more here Jovanovic I know that means that he might get caught I'm sure that'll be exactly what Ruiz would want him to do but he's got to give a bit more here a combination on the inside easy for me to say I know that he's in with a good good fighter here but this is a world championships in front of a home crowd these opportunities don't come along very often to say the least the last time a Serbian fighter had this opportunity would have been in 1978 when they last hosted this competition left to the body then up top there from Ruiz and he's just constantly backing up here Jovanovic right to the body left to the side of the head and he's having the steam taken out of him here completely, Ivanovic. Standing count there from the referee. He's in danger of coming apart here towards the end of the round. There goes the bell, and that's a comprehensive round win there for Ruiz. So he's very much got... one sizeable foot in the next round. And some 10-8s in there. And as I say, it was, a, it was a dominant round win. A dominant round win. And that's, that's what constitutes a 10-8. So he's well clear here, Ruiz. And as I said, as I said, he would have been a heavy favourite going into this fight. But I just thought, off the back of what we saw in the first round, that there were possibilities there for Jovanovic. 
but I think he's running out of steam a bit. As I said earlier, he does look to be a fairly small cruiserweight. There's some, there's some excess weight there that I think could go, which could see him get down to maybe get down to 80 kilos. If that's an option, it might not be within the within the setup of the national team. And they've retired Jovanovic the corner. They have retired him after two rounds. They've thrown in the towel and. That's a compassionate call from the corner. They would have talked to him between rounds and decided that he had no more to give. And they know their fighter. They would have looked in his eyes. He told them, presumably, that he was fine to come back out. And they have decided otherwise. And I rate that because he couldn't win that fight. He could not win that fight. We saw a fight yesterday between Balsis of Lithuania and Matoa Karabali of Colombia. And Balsas came out for the third round, the corner let him out for the third round, and they shouldn't have because he couldn't win the fight and he was getting beaten up and in the end he got stopped. And I think that is what awaited Jovanovic in that third round. So good work from the corner, I think. And a comfortable win in the end for Ruiz. And now his opponent fighting out of the blue corner from Korea, Kim Hyung. So, Heirik Ruiz caught over, winning by what's described in either boxing as abandonment because the corner retired their fighter, essentially. That's how that will be described in a, in a pro ring. They would describe it as a retiral, an abandonment in Aiba boxing. And as I said, I think that's a good call. I think they did the right thing. I thought they had a pretty good first round, Jovanovic. As I said, showed some possibilities, some glimpses. But the second round... Ruiz just upped it, went to work. As I said, right at the end of the second, he looked like he could be about to come apart. He's got the minutes rest. The corner decided they didn't need to see any more. And that was that. So Ruiz, as expected, is through. And he will fight the winner of our...